you discuss the pros and cons of surgical removal versus other treatment modalities such as medication or radiation therapy? Well, what's true for all adrenal tumors is surgery is the mainstay state-of-the-art curative surgery. It's by far the best treatment, the most cost-effective treatment, and the only curative treatment in almost all cases. That doesn't necessarily mean that other treatments are not occasionally needed, but radiation therapy, for instance, is used very rare, rarely, but there are some specific instances. For instance, in a patient where adrenal surgery is not possible for an adrenal cancer, occasional radiation therapy can be used. Medications are often used as a bridge to get the patient to surgery. For instance, for certain patients with Cushing syndrome, they may need to be on medications that lower the cortisol to get the patient to surgery. There's medications such as Corlim, and ketoconazole, other type of medications that lower the cortisol to get the patient in shape for surgery. Sometimes patients that are morbidly obese need to lose weight before surgery and now with some of the new weight loss medications they may need to be on several months on some of these new medications as, that you may know of, meaning the Ocentic, Monjaro, those kind of medications in preparation as a bridge to get to surgery because a lot of the adrenal tumors can cause weight gain and they may need to lose weight before surgery. Uh, we use medications in patients with pheochromosatoma sometimes to block the adrenaline release prior to surgery. Those medications are called alpha blockers, doxazosine and prasosine, uh, to get the patient ready for surgery. But you can think of the medications as a bridge to surgery. That's true also for aldosterone producing tumors. As I mentioned before, spironolactone and aplerinone are particularly helpful in controlling the aldosterone release in patients with Kohn's syndrome. So often patients need to go on that prior to surgery. But overall, medications don't remove the tumor. Medications don't fix the problem. They treat the symptoms and get the patient ready for surgery but ultimately the goal is to get to curative surgery.